Okay, oftentimes people ask me, why are there two dates on Philippine coins? Okay, every so often the Philippines devalues their coinage and starts a new design series. If you take this one for example, this is a one peso. You see on the obverse, it is dated 2010. On the reverse, you see a date of 1993. Uh, by the way, just look at these the way these coins are minted. They're, it's, they're very brilliantly struck here, almost a proof-like surface on the obverse and reverse. This is a 2010. If you happen to see a 2013 right from the bank, it's a very brilliant strike. So anyway, uh, this coin this design was discontinued, was be began in 1993 and the previous design was devalued in 1992. So, the 1993 indicates the year that the new design began and that the old design was devalued. And then the date on the front, 2010, is the actual date that the coin was minted. Okay, I have some 25 centavos here. This is a nice, brilliantly stuck brass issue. You see on the obverse, it's uh, dated 2013. So, actually I have the pleasure of looking at one that's uh, recently struck. You can see it's a, you can even see the camera there. It's a mirror finish. You can see my face. You can see my face in there almost. So, that's 2013. Reverse again has uh, a date of 1993, as you can see. Again, indicating the year that the new design started, and then the, of course 92 would have been the year that the previous design was devalued. It's also true on the just to take a look, so you can see what they look like. It's also true on the five and ten peso. It's a five peso dated 1997 with the 93 on the reverse and then 10 peso bimetallic it has uh, four sets of ridges on the edge it's not fully ridged but four sets of ridges which is kind of unique and you see this one is dated 2003 and on the reverse 1993 again, the year the new series started. So now you know why Philippine coins have two different dates.